Uh oh. For the Brotherhood. Good work, human. Maybe now this place can rest in peace. I still have a job to do here. Some mutants may have heard Tabitha's broadcast and are headed here even as we speak. I'll remain and direct anyone who show up toward Jacobstown, where they'll be much better off. There's nothing here for you, human. Though it is always good to see you. There's nothing here for you, human. Though it is always good to see you. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state, but I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? First, let's go over how to put it on. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here.
Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Bye. Whole future of New Vegas seems like it's up in the air. Guess I should wait things out before buying a condo in the Ultralux, huh? It's a free wasteland. Let's. Looks like you've managed to talk some sense into the Elder Outsider. Be assured I'll still be keeping an eye on him. Your efforts to help this chapter are not unappreciated. Now what can I do for you? Later. Now that McNamara has lifted that silly lockdown of his, perhaps people around here will come to appreciate our training simulations. Perhaps there will be a renewed interest in them as people realize just how close to reality they are. But I digress. What did you want? Bye. Hey, hey, look who it is. <laughs> My best buddy. 
Yeah, I hope you're looking to do some business with me. I think it could be mutually beneficial. Okay, you got me by the balls. Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy you friendship. I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. All right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambling. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay, toss him at me. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay, toss him at me. No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay, toss them at me. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Business is good. All the family's got money. Of course, Gamora is where the action is. Gamora is always open for business. Bosses don't like no trouble in that place. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles? I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? A Little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino and they set me up with this great room. Kachino. Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? Yeah, bye.
Did Benny beg before you burned his sorry ass? I hear the Legion is moving some new tough muscle into the area. NCR better keep their heads down. They say... Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. That night, mostly buff out, I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. That was my standard Saturday night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. All right, have at it. I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. All right, have at it. When I saw the body, I started screaming. In a few seconds, some of their soldiers were in there cleaning up the room. They offered to keep silent about what happened if I agreed to help them get their hands on large quantities of guns at deep discounts. All right, have at it. You do that for me? I'm not sure what can be done, but you'd be doing me a solid if you would. I've been talking to Big Saul mostly. You again. Make it quick. Cachino? Cachino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. What do you want to talk about? Goodbye. Gamora is always open for business. Hey, you're Cachino's friend. You got business with me? Ah, Trike. What's he want? Some more jet? A fresh batch of girls? Maybe a guy or two this time. What, that he's a murdering jet head? Not a new story around here. Yeah, that sounds all right to me. I bet we can find someone to do his work for that much. Tell him to get going. All right, come back any time. What are you looking at? You again. Make it quick. Holy shit. 
Really? Okay, I'll help you. But I'm getting the hell out of here first chance I get. They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the Strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. Okay, try and be fast about it. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Hey, fuck you. All right, I'll place the fucking thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Fuck not at home. Must be cozy up there in the lucky 38. Hey, what can I do for you? Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Now the bosses want to see you. Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. When they're gone, I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They tasked me to find out who's responsible. There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. Hurry and get ready. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. Hey, what can I do for you? All right, let's have them. I figured you might have that problem. That guy's pretty much a mystery. I did some asking around about him. On the down low, of course. Turns out the boss's plans are right fucked without him. Killing him would probably work wonders. Just don't let anyone see you do it. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Should have brought something to read.
Hey, I'll take care of them when you're ready. Just say the word. I suggest doing it while they're talking. Let's have to some words. On. Take a seat on the couch so we can get to talking. Hey, what can I do for you? Bye. So I assume you know why we called you here. Kachino, what the fu- Aha! Had enough- Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. Of course, after all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play, have some fun. Later. Ah, oh, just when the I'd wager that the army's sending elite units our way, right as we speak. What the fuck are you looking at? These bots now have eyes on their backs, I swear. What do you need? Bye.
We want Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Ma'am? We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Heard you snuffed that Benny guy. Good riddance. Guy was a scumbag. He's a little stiff and stuffy. Doesn't leave the office that much. Always surrounds himself with papers and reports. I've always wanted to play a prank on him, but there's no way I could ever pull that off without getting in trouble from Captain Pappas. Yeah, I got a few ideas that I'm working on. Maybe I'll let you in on it once I have something. What have you heard? I know people think I'm a little on the wild side, but I'm just trying to have fun, you know? Just because I happen to get into fights and like to pull pranks doesn't mean anything. Now, she may be a bit of a hard ass, but she's the best damn captain we've had here. I'd be careful around her. You don't want to get on our bad side. Ma'am? We won't go quietly. The Legion can the count Ranger on The Ranger veterans that. have been running ops in Baja. I heard you killed Benny over at the Tops. I bet you think you're some sort of tough cookie. A piece of advice. If you mess with any of my men, you'll regret it. Murder? What kind of murder? Do you have any proof? Well, that's something. But I can't go in there without proof of foul play. Not much to tell. Keeping the troopers in line and monitoring the strip keeps me busy. It's my job, and I'm gonna do it well. Now, if that's all, I've got work to do. Bye. We'll be a different army with them here. Hello? Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Excellent. Come back after you've spoken to them. They should see the benefits of helping us in the long term. Thanks for doing this. Remember, we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle. Do whatever it takes. Goodbye. At this rate, one Securitron is going to be enough to defend the whole...
You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Don't get blown up. 